Hey guys, what is up? Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Pong game in Scratch. All right, guys. So, first, today we will be making the player paddle. So, first, I'm going to create a new sprite and call this player paddle. And first, we want to have our we want to have a, a paddle. So, I'm going to create um, a rectangle, and I'll make it a black one. Okay, and then I'm going to add another rectangle in the middle for our line. Let's do this. And then this. So like that. And then I'm going to make this a different color. So maybe like a, maybe this type of color would be good. That looks fine. So that is what that will be our player paddle. All right. So in the in the in the co in this code, we want to make our player paddle move um, up and down. So let me first rotate this to zero. So now it's going to be this way. And then I'm going to um, say when clicked forever set set y to mass y so as you can see it it can move so like that i'm also going to make my player paddle smaller because i feel like it's a bit too big so one trick in scratch is you can hold alt and you can just do it without moving it back to the middle all right so set y to mouse y now it's much more smaller and neater. Now, I want a ball that can bounce off the player paddle. So what I'll do is I'll create a new sprite and I will add, uh, make a ball. So about this color would be good. I feel like this is fine. And I want this ball to be able to bounce around our, we want our um, thing to bounce around the, th bounce around the um, around the edges and the player paddle so what i'll do is i will say in the code i'll call this ball first and then i'll say when green flag clicked forever if on edge bounce and i'm also going to move 10 steps so when you you see it it moves 10 steps and it kind of does this weird thing. I'm also going to make this like 45 degree angle to see if it actually bounces. So you can see that it has bounced. But it is a little bit too accurate because one thing to note is that when you set this to 90 degrees and you're moving 10 steps, it will just keep doing that over and over again. Let me just get this here. Like you can see that it just keeps moving back and forth like that. And I don't want that. I want it to be able to move like here or here randomly. So I instead of that, I'll say if touching edge, I can say point in direct, pick random, or actually I will point in direction, direction minus pick random, 150 to 210 that will be my guess oh that was wrong so i'll say direction minus pick random and then i'll i yeah so 
now as you can see it kind of just does it randomly like it's more it's more harder for the player to hit so i also want our thing to go off the player so i'm going to say an a or statement and i'm going to say touching touching oh where's the or touching player or player paddle i why did i spell that wrong okay so player paddle oh l is not right okay so when it's touching edge or player paddle it will point in direction 150 and um between 150 and 210 i hope you i hope you guys understand this now it is working fine now let's see if it actually yeah it bounces off now i want to create yeah so uh, let me add like a backdrop make it more interesting so maybe i'll add like a neon tunnel i found this one is probably the most futuristic one i know you can't see it so maybe i'll make this ball like a white so let me make this white and i'll make my make this i'll make this also a white now you can now you can see it so what are we going to do in this well i'm going to make the i'm going to end um, part one i will i'll be sure to um do a part two on this tutorial so yeah i hope you enjoyed i'll see you guys next time and peace out bye <laughs>